Hello guys, welcome to the first video of Goalzone X. And today I will be talking about the hot topic on the debate who should win the 2023 Ballon d'Or, Erling Haaland or Leo Messi. I will be explaining why I think Leo Messi deserves to win it over Erling Haaland. The battle for the 2023 Ballon d'Or has ignited a fierce debate among football enthusiasts worldwide. At the heart of this discussion lies an intense duel between two exceptional talents, Lionel Messi and Erling Haaland. While the competition is undoubtedly tough, I firmly believe that Leo Messi should emerge as the rightful winner of this prestigious award. For the eighth time, Lionel Messi's journey to the two, to the 2023 Ballon d'Or is a story of sheer determination, perseverance, and unmatched excellence. His crowning achievement, winning the 2022 World Cup of Argentina, winning the World Cup, winning the League's Cup, and getting a title with PSG. Messi finally hoisted the World Cup trophy, leaving an ind indelible mark on the sports history. Messi's brilliance extended beyond the international stage. In his season with PSG, Argentina, every club, every team combined, he tailed in an impressive 38 goals and 25 assists in all competitions, showcasing an unwavering commitment to excellence. At his age, these numbers were stacked up against his competition, underscore Messi's, sus Messi's sustained brilliance throughout the season. Adding to his case is Messi's transformative impact that entered Miami. Upon joining the team, he immediately revitalized the, fortune, the fortunes, leading them to a victory in the League's Cup and the U.S. Open Cup, scoring seven goals and providing, providing two assists and earning accolades such as the League's Cup, top goal scorer, and the play of the tournament, which highlights his influence. This turnaround is a testament to Messi's ability to inspire and elevate his team. Messi consistently excelled in high stake finals during the season, such as the World Cup final, scoring a brace, and other stuff. Carrying into Miami to victory, his clutch performances and crucial moments under underline his ability to shine when it matters most, a hallmark of a true footballing legend. Here it is. Messi! which makes him deserve the World Cup, I mean, not the World Cup, 2023 Ballon d'Or. The staging of the World Cup is the mid in the middle of the season adds a unique layer to Messi's case. His outstanding performance in the world stage further cements his claim to the Ballon d'Or. Winning the World Cup after multiple attempts and being named the tournament's best player underscores his um, ability to excel during, under immense pressure. But let me stop talking about Messi. Let me go to Erling Haaland's achievements. Acknowledging the fierce competition, early Haaland's remarkable season must also be commended. His prolific goal-scoring record, contributions to Manchester City's titles, and personal accolades are indeed impressive. Haaland's emergence as a top talent, a top-tier talent, is undeniable. Let us now go into Haaland's achievements. He scored 52 goals and 53 games in total of the whole season. He won Young Player of the Season for the Premier League his first season. Remind you, he's only 23 years old. Holland also won Premier Premier League Player of the Year. He scored 53 goals, nine assists, a UCL, a treble, a UCL Premier League and FA Cup. This is a this is crazy, because a player this young doing this good and breaking these records is very remarkable. But another reason I think. He will not win the Ballon d'Or. It's because how Pep Guardiola makes the team a whole, like as a team as a whole, not just about one player. And also, his no show in big finals. Holland won the UCL, FA Cup, UEFA Super Cup, and the Premier League the first season he joined, which is very world class. He also won UEFA Men's Player of the Year, the European Golden Shoe, while breaking the Premier League goal scoring record that has been held by Andy Cole since 1993. If I didn't say this already, the first season he joined the club, but Ballon d'Or didn't carry his enough carry enough to win the Ballon d'Or. Pep Guardiola has always managed to make his teams play as a unit, 
irrespective of the world-class players among them. Holland, Holland's 52 goals might have been a product of his positioning and his predatory nature in front of the goal, but his teammates played a significant role in his success as well, especially Kevin De Bruyne. As you can see on social media, let's talk about how long would it be nothing without KDB. That is because KDB provided a lot of the assists and playmaking. Another reason why I think that Holland didn't carry as they as they state is because Rodri was always there. Rodri scored the game-winning goal to win Manchester City, the UCL. Another thing, Ederson with the saves in the UCL final. Everybody was just playing okay, but Holland did not seem in shape. And a player that is reserved, Cole Palmer, has scored in more finals than Holland. A player that doesn't play, didn't play the whole 2022-2023 season. Holland might be good, but this this what I'm saying is that he isn't good enough. And all his ghosting, as you could say, he's ghosting in finals. It's not good enough for him to win the Ballon d'Or. Messi, on the other hand, was literally Argentina's go-to man. He single-handedly dragged them past Mexico after the shocking opening day defeat to Saudi Arabia before scoring in every knockout game. Mind you, Messi scored at every stage of the World Cup that year, in 2022. He scored in the group stage, the round of 16, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the finals. Holland's performances this season should surely warrant him a Ballon d'Or award, but the staging of the World Cup in the middle of the season and Messi's performance will complicate his chances. Another factor that could have swung the pendulum to Holland's side to win the Ballon d'Or was if the striker had starred in the stages of Manchester City Champions League campaign, like I said. However, the former Borussia Dortmund striker was, for lack of, be- of a better term, more of a p- in a passenger seat from the quarterfinals and in the FA Cup final. While Messi played better in each final he has played in, in the season, it has played in the season while carrying into Miami to two cup wins straight after he joined the team. As I listed, also Messi had more goal contributions than Holland this season. Holland might have had the most goals in the world, but he didn't have scored. He didn't get enough goal average as the goal assist ratio. Messi got sixty two, has sixty two goal contributions, but Holland only has sixty one. In the end, the 2023 Ballon d'Or debate is a hard fought debate and hard to um hard to predict the outcome. With Holland and Messi pre- presenting complete compelling cases, world class in both in both areas of their game. However, when considering Messi's remarkable journey, his World Cup triumph, his consistency at Inter Miami, and his transformative impact, it becomes clear why he should be. The deserving winner. No, nonetheless, Holland had a remarkable season. All of the stats I just list was very good, very world class, very entertaining. But I don't think it's enough to win the Ballon d'Or against Messi. Messi's legacy in the sport, his unmatched skill, his ability to rise to the occasion, occasion, and critical moments to, to make him the epitome of a Ballon d'Or recipient. Recip- Recipient. While Holland's season was impressive, Messi's 2023 campaign is a testament to his enduring greatness at his age and should secure his place in the 2023 Ballon d'Or. If you're watching this, thank you for understanding my case. I hope you agree. You might not agree. Everybody has different opinions. But if you agree or disagree, please leave a like or at least comment or f- subscribe something. Help me help the channel out. And peace out, guys.